What's good, Ken Folk? It's your boy Dom doing what I love to do most, and that's reviewing these sticks for y'all. Today we got that Buffalo 10 coming at you. Stay tuned. the uh, whiskey that I'm pairing it with today. This is a whiskey rye straight out of Kentucky. This is the Castle and Key Restoration Whiskey Rye. And what I've noticed so far is the whiskey has a nice citrusy, uh, mellow taste to it, uh, smooth, a uh, little spiciness to it. So definitely interested to see how that pairs well with this cigar. So without further ado, let's get this Buffalo 10 lid. So today, I decided to do a little something different. And what I'm gonna do is I dig, I dug into the first third of this cigar just a little bit, just to give you a more in-depth idea of what I'm, I'm sensing with this cigar. And right now, the cigar is real good. So you get a nice cocoa, you get a nice leather, you get some oak, you get tobacco, you get cocoa, you get a creaminess and the retro hill offers a black pepper that's not freshly cracked but that maybe has sat for a little while so with this cigar you're able to get a nice retro hill and not have to worry about the burn until maybe the last portion of it. so depending on how how well you retro hill will offer uh, a unique experience uh, to your own so this isn't a bad stick right now i'm loving how it feels in the hand i love the box press and I love the construction of this cigar. This feels like to me a cigar that I sat in a cigar lounge and I picked one that I knew was gonna be a good go-to because all I wanna do is just sit there and watch some football or chill and relax with the crew uh, in the cigar lounge. And this feels like that cigar that I don't have to worry about at all. I know it's early. I know I'm only in the first third, but right now I'm digging this stick. So I am going to go ahead and get down to the second third of the stick and update you if anything changes. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, Ken folk, we're back. I'm in the second third of this stick, the Buffalo 10. And I got to tell you, I don't know why this cigar is priced as low as it, it is because this stick smokes like a $10 stick. I would have gladly paid above $4 for this stick. I mean, I mean, the value in this stick, the complexity, the way it's smoking right now, the, the ash held on right to the second, third, smoking perfectly. The build, build is perfect, the smoke is perfect, and then the flavors are just very consistent in this stick. So um, right now, yeah, man, this is a good stick. Get your hands on it, get it, go to your local brick and mortar, find it online, and get this stick. It's it's a box. It's a box purchase too. Like this is a good stick. I don't get why it's priced so low. Um, you know, this is easily, easily a top uh, twenty category stick for me, um, and one that I know I can count on. Um, could it be in the runnings for cigar of the year for me? Maybe. I don't know. Low. We'll see. But this is a good stick, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead into this final third. Y'all stay tuned. I right, can't folks so I'm back and I'm in the final third of this cigar and the update for this cigar is as follows it's a good stick it's a go-to stick it's a solid stick it's one that you can count on it's one that I would definitely keep in the humidor if you are familiar with the Oliva master blend number three and you do like that cigar this Buffalo 10 
is right up your alley. At 450, definitely is a budget stick, but it's a budget stick that offers a quality of a $10 range stick cigar. Easily, masterfully crafted, and it's just it's just good. It's a solid stick. I don't have anything bad to report of this cigar. Very consistent throughout. Burn line was consistent throughout. The ash holding on strong. It's a solid stick. You know the the flavors remain. You know good. It wasn't anything that was super complex, and it wasn't nothing that was under complex. It was just. Perfect. So if you're looking for that nice consistent cigar, this is the one for you. Buffalo 10 El Artista. Go get it. Y'all, I'm done with this review. I'm going to smoke this down by myself. But you know the motto. Y'all, be kind to one another. I mean that. Be Kendrick and the Leaf. Until next time, we'll see you again. Buffalo 10. Solid.